Hi, welcome to Paleo Green Bird. I'm Green Bird. Today's video is going to be a flint napping video. It's going to be Series 4 of Flint Napping 101. We talked about safety. We talked about the tools that you would need. We talked about selecting your stone. And now we're going to talk about platforms. This is the last, uh, you know, basic instruction that you'll need to just get ready to start smacking some rocks. So, what is a platform? A platform is just the, the uh, place on the rock that you've decided to strike to drive your flake. Uh, there are good platforms, there are bad, uh, bad platforms, and we'll talk a little bit about both. But uh, basically, I wanted to d just start by, you know, think about what you're trying to do. You're trying to thin the stone. You're taking, you're, t you're getting rid of what you don't want on the stone. So it's sort of like when you're carving a stick, whether it be a marshmallow stick or, you know, a walking stick, whatever you do. You're carving off those knots, you're carv carving off the pieces you don't need. The only difference is you're carving off the top when you're carving a stick. When you're flint napping, you're taking it off of the bottom because you're striking. And the physics behind what you're doing is you're creating enough downward pressure and inward pressure to where you're, it's pushing in on that stone then popping the flake off. Just like pressure flaking, it's all the same. Um, so what I've done is I've got a little biface here. Well, sort of a biface. It's not a quite, quite a biface yet, but it's a thin little spall. I thought I'd show you some platforms. So I have a platform set up there, right here. You can see the platform always looks like a smile because you're always hitting the low points. And if I flip it over, I have a couple of more platforms right here. And that's what you're going to use to drive your flakes. Sometimes you have to make a platform. Um, as you can see right here, I sort of have a platform, but it's very low on the, on the rock. It's not really going to take off much. It's just probably going to crush an edge, so I may have to adjust that. And what you do to adjust your, your platforms is you just bring them higher or lower to your center line. Whatever is going to give you uh, the, the best opportunity to push a flake off. And, you know, a lot of that just comes with experience and with time. But let's take this first platform. This first platform we're going to take is right here. This is a nice platform. You can see there's a ridge for it to follow. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind it. I've got two billets here. I've got my small and my medium. I could, I could probably take this with the small billet. But I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use my medium billet. Now I'm going to support it from behind. And I'm going to hit down and in at the same time because I'm trying to drive that flake, not just crush the edge. Okay. I'll show you the flake that we just took. Even though I used a big bullet, big, uh, big bullet, big billet, I took a small flake. That's the flake that came off that, and that's an amazing microblade. Okay. You don't always have to take ginormous flakes as long as you're reducing. And, you, and as you can see, it sort of made another little platform right there for me to take if I wanted to. But I'm going to go into some of this thicker area because I am trying to reduce the stone. And I'm going to take this platform first. Then I'll probably flip it over if I've got a good angle on this and take this one. Let's try and get off anything that is going to bust off anyway. You want a nice strong platform. That's the best advice I can give you is a nice strong platform. Go back to my medium sized billet. Alright. That flake broke apart a little bit, but let's see if I can get it back to where it was. I'm not sure how to get that back, but basically, this is the big part of the flake. A nice thin flake. So we're starting to thin this down. You can already see. I'm getting a flake pattern in the middle there. That's what you want to do all the way around. Now this is, this is something I want to show you. There's a platform right here. Look how high it is though. Probably never going to get anything off of that. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to lower it. I'm going to lower it right over here. And all I'm doing is I'm just taking off, ooh, that was a little aggressive, but it's taking off down on the side where I want it on reverse for the platform to be, so you can see I did, I did make myself a nice little platform. It's a smile. So it was a little more aggressive than I probably wanted to go, but we have a lot of rock to work with here, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see if I can get a nice flake off of that. I need more grinding. Make sure you're nice and ground. This is a little bit of a thick platform, but I'm going to take it anyway. All right, I got some crushing, but the pla but it kind of did get a flake. Let's see if I can take the rest of it. That was a nice flake. So you can see I'm starting to thin this. As you do this, you want to be careful. You want to sort of be cognizant of the of the shape that you're creating. Don't wait until the last minute. So I'm not going to make this a big long video, we're not going to reduce this whole thing, but I did want to go over, you know, just what a platform is. I think what before I end the video, I'm going to take this one right here, as you can see. Now that's a pretty aggressive platform, it's pretty thick in there. I'm going to take it anyway since I'm using such a big billet. It's a little bit lower on the center line than I'd like. The perfect platform is just a little bit below center line and follows a big ridge. This is quite a bit below center line. But it's a real thick point in the rock, so that's okay. I got a nice flake off of that one. And let's just keep going since we're here. There's another one that's a little on the low side. I think I'm going to switch to my smaller billet. And that's just so that I can... I don't crush the edges as much. Maybe I can get it to travel a little further. I have to hit it a little bit harder. Eh, it worked okay. Not fantastic. You know, when you're taking these flakes, you want to make sure you get them at least across the center line. Because if you don't, you're not thinning your piece at all. You'll just end up with a big, thick turtle. Or, or, or worse, a big, thick football. So, we'll probably work this piece a little bit more. I want to take the little bit off the tip there, but as you can see, there's no real platform. So I have to create one. And I'm going to take off the bottom here, so I'm going to hit it down this way, so that my I create uh, kind of a convex platform, not the other way around. That will help me thin. Just a quick downward. This way, this, at this point, you don't want to go in. Just go straight down. See how I made myself a little bit of a platform right there? Hopefully you can see that. Gives me an opportunity to hit the smile. And I'm gonna switch down to my smaller billet. Actually, I'm gonna stay with the bigger one. I got a flake, got a little bit of little tiny bit of a hinge there, but I can clean that up. Something's going after my chickens. So as you can see, we're starting to thin this down a little bit. So I hope this helps you understand platforms. I didn't want to make this a long video. Just wanted an opportunity to talk a little bit about platforms. So, you know, you're always trying to take away the stone that you don't need. You always want to have a nice, solid, strong platform. And if you follow those rules, you should be fine. You should at least get some flakes and be able to start enjoying the art of foot napping. So if you have any questions, definitely you know post them in the comments. And if you have any, uh, you know, if you like this video, let me know. If you don't like it, if you want to see something different, let me know. I'll try and put something else together. 
And uh, until next time, keep flint napping and let me know what you think. Paleo Greenbird signing out.